Search for the next Springfield School Superintendent came to an end Thursday night following weeks of controversy and a thorough interviewing process. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres explains what led the school committee to make this decision and the pushback the superintendent has received. Well, Nick, this has been something that a lot of people are waiting for. The Springfield committee appointed Dr. Sonia Denal as the superintendent succeeding Daniel Warwick, who will retire at the end of the current school year. Denal will now lead the district of nearly 24,000 students starting next school year. We have a dynamic individual who broke some glass ceilings, who broke through some barriers, both for women and for black women in particular. Thursday night's vote was history in the making for the city of Springfield. After appointing Dr. Sonia Denal, the first woman and the first black woman superintendent to lead Springfield Public Schools. The school committee voted four to three in favor of Dr. Denal, citing their desire for bold new leadership. I'm certain that my colleagues are very excited. Uh, there were three no votes uh, on the matter, but I am confident and I have faith that all of us, including the chairman, uh, the mayor, myself as the vice chair, and my colleagues will wrap our arms around the school district, wrap our arms around her leadership to support her. Dr. Denal is a lifelong resident of Springfield and a product of the Springfield Public Schools, serving as a chief of the Springfield Empowerment Zone, a principal, and the executive director of college and career readiness in Hartford Public Schools. Selecting a new superintendent has been a painstaking process. The Springfield School Committee made the decision on Thursday night after two rounds of interviews and three finalists. But some members aren't too pleased with the end result. School committee members like Chris Collins questioned Dr. Denal's qualifications during the final meeting. Bishop Talbert Swan, the president of the NAACP of Springfield, was appalled at the, quote, blatant attempts to cast aspersions on the character of Dr. Denal. I thought it was unfair um, to attempt to throw in a, a last minute monkey wrench to sully um, the reputation um, and to call into question the credibility of Dr. Denal. Vice Chair Gonzalez echoing Swan's remarks, saying that Dr. Denal was the most qualified candidate to serve in this role. Now, this is a very historic moment for the city of Springfield. What does the new superintendent hope to prioritize now? Well, Nick, during her announcement yesterday, Denal said that as superintendent, she will be committed to leveling playing field and mitigating barriers, adding that she wants to do what's best for our children here in the city of Springfield. All right, Melissa, thank you. Thank you.